Oh, bother. <laughs>
There we go. The rest of the family is still holding strong. I'm going to have to find something to do with uh, Faustus. I don't want him to just sit and uh, do nothing his whole life. Same thing with uh, Mediolinus. Yeah, we'll have to do something with those guys. But we don't have any money to support new armies at this time, so they're going to uh, be legates in waiting. And of course, I can't end a turn without giving someone a promotion. Yeah, I like that. So, let's go ahead and end this turn. And I do hope that this video finds you all well. If you're coming in um, not having seen the news, oh god. This is about to get ugly. Well, if we couldn't take them before, we definitely can't take them now. So let's try to pull back. Of course, they're going to attack the fourth. We're going to pull them back as well. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Hey, and we have a new child being born. Fantastic. Natural causes. For one of our... I believe that's one of our... Uh, wives. And slaves have escaped from Apollonia. That's not good. Plus 16 to serve our unrest for four years? Whoa, that's... Yikes. Let's see. Where is Apollonia? Oh, we're struggling. Now, I did forget about all of this down here, so we're going to deconstruct that entire city and rebuild it. Hopefully that will help our economy a little bit, too. Let's pull the third back into Delminium. Ready for battle. And we'll pull the second down close to it. You have further orders? Ready for orders. Make haste, men. Now let's do this. We We're gonna pull these guys and have them winter right here in a fort. We'll have the fourth, of course, remain in Suggestica. If they're attacked, well then at least we'll have backup from uh, not only the fourth, but from Suggestica as well. And let's take a look at what we can get going as far as our uh, technology. We haven't had a new technology in a while because we've been fighting so many battles. So we advanced our engineering, so that's good. We can keep looking at civil stuff. That would take seven turns. Let's take a look at what we can do militarily. We could go ahead and get our siege even better. Minus 5% siege units. And that... Does that really do anything for us? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side. So, minus 40% attritional losses when under siege. That's great. Plus 3 siege holdout time when besieged. That's pretty strong. Tactical drills, deck artillery, and there is, of course, the ever-tempting cohort organization. Hmm. I feel like that would be a huge boon to us. And, of course, there's the professional soldiery as well. I think we're a little bit a ways off from, uh, you know, I'm thinking about it. I think that this could really transform the war front for us. So we're going to go ahead and go with the cohort organization. I did want to try and keep it a little bit more historically accurate. 
having them come in uh, closer to the time of Julius Caesar. But, you know, they're coming at us with a lot of uh, heavy infantry, and that's kind of our thing, so we need to have the best heavy infantry. And that's only going to come when we actually uh, have legionnaires marching through. Of course. Of course. Uh huh. Let's Ready see if they can fortify as well. No, they cannot. So, what we're going to do instead is pull them Advance. down to the opposite side of the city. That way, they can at least get some benefit of uh, protection from Delminium itself, because that's going to be blocking any attacks coming in. Now, I would like them to try and attack this fortress. If you guys remember our uh, our last uh, season of Power and Politics, we had a fortress defense that just continuously, continuously kept going and actually wore our enemies down to a point where we could actually uh, defeat them. So I invite them to attack us here. It might be too much. It might be overwhelming, but I think it would be worth the uh, worth the risk. And I am tempted to grow the Legion a little bit, but that's going to put us in a dangerous spot with our finances, so let's go ahead and move on. Of course. At your command. So oh, anyway, I uh a treaty between us would please the gods no and Athens, give our enemies. your client state. Anyway, so what I was trying to say earlier was that uh if you're watching this now and you haven't heard about the news from uh CA and their apology letter to the community, I suggest you uh go check it out or you can watch my other video on the matter. Let's go with Hunted. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't help that much, but it makes me feel good. Because I'm not raising any more uh, fleets at this moment. Oh, we're struggling. Ready for orders. Commander. We do seem like we're in a That's lot better shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to start moving that direction. Ready for further orders. Let's have you set up at the bridge. Ready for orders. We'll have the third set up behind you. Come on. Is that all? Look to the defenses. At your command. Get the fort I know the that they can ready. reach Singadin. That's not a concern. My concern is uh, these guys being able to reach it in one strike or in one fell swoop. Okay, looks like we should be in good shape. We were able to get some additional funding from uh, bringing down Epidamos. So let's fix all of this stuff. Let's actually just go around the Empire and make sure. Or the Republic, excuse me. We're not an Empire yet. We have not restructured. Anything damaged down here? We could grow Carthago. That might help us a little bit. And seeing as how they are still predominantly Carthaginian, I think that might be for the best. So let's get that consecrated ground going. Okay, as far as Apollonia goes, uh, I definitely want to get some food coming in for them. We also want to uh, go ahead and get a Field of Mars. I believe from this Field of Mars, we can start getting Hoplites. Yes, that's exactly what I want. Or Hoplites, however you want to say it. Um, 
I would love some hoplites. Let's see what else we can get built. Bring our finances up a little bit. I think that that would help a ton. Let's actually take a look at the trade situation. See if we can get trade with anybody. Helvetti. I look forward to your wisdom. It's entirely but possible. I trust you. Yeah, let's do it. Old pre. I welcome you, worthy speed. The gods will rejoice at the word. That's not going to help our relationship with uh, our barbarian hating Julia, but I think that it's worth it, especially financially, if we can get some more uh, income rolling in. And it did help a lot. That's quite a boost. So that being said, let's go ahead and get this marble up so we can get more of that pumping out. And the manipular barracks for Delminium. I think that that would definitely help a ton uh, so that we can start pumping out some... Well... Okay, yeah. I, I, I totally looked over the principes. So we can start pumping out some principes. Um, we need something better than Hastati. Speaking of, I think what we'll end up doing with these Hastati is giving them to the fourth and then making this principes and uh, triari. And next turn, we should be able to begin our attack on Singadun. Hopefully, uh, nothing crazy happens. Something crazy just happened. Who is this? Oh, that's the Ed Editani. They're attacking, of course. All right, looks like the third legion is about to have some uh, competition out here. Our enemies hope for an easy victory. Already they are drinking to celebrate. I don't know about you, but I find that insulting. So, I intend to piss in their wine and spoil their plans. What say you? Well, you gotta get hyped somehow because these guys are not the same creature that we were fighting when we were dealing with rebels. And uh, this is not the same garrison that held back all those rebel waves. And it looks like they have made contact already, leading in with their cavalry as they foolishly always do. Got our prince base coming around the flank only to be blocked by some of their veteran warriors Ooh, that was ugly and i do believe that these guys right here are going to be our main source of pain while slingers are not very powerful, uh, they can cause a headache if left unchecked. And unfortunately, that is the decision that is made here today.
and you got to give props to the Rurari, the uh, town watch, if you will. This formation, the square formation that they have, is fantastic. And in the hands of more capable warriors, would probably create an insurmountable, uh, uh, an insurmountable, oh gosh, what am I thinking of? Not objective, but uh, obstruction. <laughs> for attacking forces so like if the triari could do it uh and i believe that they can but if you had them protecting a city instead this would be just incredibly difficult to get through and while i hate to be losing an engagement i will say it is nice to be fighting someone who's not a Celtic Barbarian. And it does look like our support has gone ahead and routed, and I believe the rest of the army is about to, so I'll let it play out, but I will see you guys back on the campaign map. And we knew what the outcome of that would be but it didn't stop us from trying and i think that they did a uh, pretty admirable job in trying to hold them back it's just you know we were outnumbered and these were not rebels they did not break okay so now we get to shift our focus out to the west where they are unfortunately undermanned for such a uh, for such a situation and they're still recovering from uh, a plague i want to say that had well been plaguing them so let's take a look at what we can do to help boost these guys up um it looks like they're pretty well equipped except for uh obviously not having any cavalry or access to cavalry that would have been nice but it's part of the game when uh when you don't have the finances to upgrade your barracks out here and M Massalia has been well it's it's been overlooked in terms of its importance and i i, I think that that was probably a mistake on my end but Advance. hopefully something that we can remedy and i do believe that we can go ahead and take this army it will have to wait another turn we because we can't reach the them but that is something we'll work on in the meantime we're going to fortify Get right here at the bridge ready. and make sure that they don't have an access route into massalia looking back east ready for battle Ready for orders. I do believe it is about time. Commander. At your command. Ready so for orders. let's uh slowly Advance. march on in. You have further orders? Oh, that's good. That would be really good. So what we're gonna do. At your command. Let's take a look at Make this. Haste, men. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're going to besiege Singadin with the second auxilia. Let them cower before Rome. Obviously, this is not in our favor. No, actually, I like that. I like that better. Let's go with Laying that combination. The settlement. Commander. On the move. We cannot pass We're going to have the third auxilia backing them up. Commander. Then we're going to bring the, the fourth on battle. down. Is that all? 
and have the first go ahead and attack the Fury of uh, Sabazio. Yeah, Sabazio. But before we do that, let's take a look at the rest of the Empire, make sure that we're not missing any other movements coming from our enemies. Syracuse is still in place. We don't have anything going on in Africa. And of course, the same situation is happening down there. So, let's go ahead and jump on into this battle, and I'll see you there. All right, and picking this battle up already on the march, you can see that we are preparing to assault this fortress. Obviously, if you've seen season one of Power and Politics, you know that overcoming forces in a fortress is no easy feat. And so what we're going to have to do is surround them on all sides and press where they're weakest. The plan that the two generals have come up with, or excuse me, the two legates have come up with, is going to be uh, for the main force to attack right here, pinning them in place and forcing them to pour more and more men into this area. Meanwhile, we're going to have another attack pressing from here and a tertiary attack pressing from here. Whichever one of these sides uh, breaks through first will then come and take care of the, uh, of the responding forces. Hopefully they don't turn and try to deal with us inside the fort. That could be a disaster, but Regardless, this is going to be a bloody battle and um, one that one that's going to be pretty fun to play. Now, even though uh, our Lord representing House Cornelia is going to be the primary general, or excuse me, is going to be having uh, command of the largest force. Command of this battle has been passed to the House of Brutus, or the House Junia. Yes, the 4th Legion is a lot smaller than the 1st Legion. However, just due to the battle experience of fighting these guys for so long in Suggestica, this is he is going to be the best general to take care of this situation and so this is going to be his plan And guys, I do apologize that this video is going to be coming out um, on Saturday. It was intended to come out on Friday, however. I was uh, in the process of finishing all this up, and uh, I was paid a visit by Grandfather Nurgle. Thankfully, it has just been a 24-hour bug, so I am finally able to sit still and uh, not, not have to run off anywhere. <laughs> Now, something we haven't really been able to utilize in this campaign is our Testudo formation, and you just gotta love it. I do wish that um, it was a little bit more like the Rome 1 interpretation of it, but that's okay. I think that this is probably more realistic to how it was. And it has officially begun. Our forces are about to be torn up by these missiles, but it's something that just, I mean, we're gonna have to sacrifice lives to, to overtake this fortress. Oh, my God. 
Got our principes rolling on in. And like I said, the Hastati will be eventually phased out in exchange for the principes taking over. And the cavalry have circled around to join the fourth legion just so that um just so that we can take advantage of one of these two entries when we uh make our advance All right, and we've got the Triarii coming around this uh, northern edge. We're going to call that one the northern one. This northern edge over here to try and force our way in. If we can get a hold of these cavalry, that would be great. And the fourth is now marching on in with their own Testudo formation. It is a bad day. It, well, you know, it's always a bad day to be a cavalryman when you're fighting the Roman forces. Unless you're getting a really good flank on us. I mean, it just never works out. we predicted they have poured most of their force into trying to stop the main attack and that has left them open for uh well for 
for a advantage over here on our behalf. You gotta love that uh, Rome 2 pathfinding. There they go. There's the break. We are officially inside of their fort. It's only a matter of time before this is over. In come the cavalry. And now we've got them pinned. It is a mosh pit of death. Looks like they're beginning to collapse.
and it does appear that that is going to be it. I'm going to let this battle finish out, and I will. Uh, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Close victory indeed. We were able to pull that off, although, well, <laughs> they they took quite a few of us with them. Um, 609 troops, or excuse me, 1,447 troops we lost. It's claiming they only killed 609. I don't believe that we had that much friendly fire. It must have been those towers really uh, nailing us, unfortunately. I don't think it counts those. So, we're going to, of course, enslave those captives. Make haste, men! Ready for battle! And we should be to good victory. to attack Singadun. We take this settlement yeah, for Rome. we are. So, that is going to be our next episode. And until then, to all my friends, wherever you are, good morning, good evening, and good night. I'll see you next time. If you made it this far into the video, I just want to say thanks for watching, especially to those of you who have been with me since the beginning. I am still having a blast and very much enjoying the formation of this community with all of you. If you have any suggestions for videos you would like to see, please let me know because I want to make even better content as we continue down this journey together as always if you enjoy what i'm doing here and want to support me then you know what to do comment like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one